Never get scared by a dirty needle. They work wonders. <laughs> well, if one of my Pokemon had AIDS, they all have it now. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Date and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Pokemon Clover. I've left a couple of pokes in the daycare center. Uh, we look in pretty good shape. I guess we're going to continue on down this route. And uh, maybe we'll find something interesting. Shh, my blob is a slippy. Oh, Blobby, he's so small <laughs> and slappy. Last Lizzie sent out Blobos. Blobos isn't like a, the cutest name. You think Blobos would be like something huge and disgusting. But this this Blobos, he looks pretty cute, you know? He's tiny. He's small. They should call it Blobby. But I guess, uh, you know, that's what she called it. Blobby, baby Blobby. And I get three experience points. Oh god. This is just uh, an absolute waste of my time, isn't it? Magnitude 6? Will it KO? Of course it will. That thing's level 8. I don't I don't understand. Thank you for uh, <laughs> exposing me to this. Oh, there's so many of them. Jesus. That one's level 16. Is it still gonna KO? Magnitude 8? I bet it will. I bet it will. I'm gonna nail that thing. Decker strong. Boo boo. What is it saying? What is it saying to me? Is it? I think it's trying to speak to me. Oh, there's a level 32 one. Holy shit. Well, uh, how about Rock Throw? Try that out. It does pretty good. Super effective. Uh, I think we caught one of these. It's a uh, rock and ice type. So, almost anything I have, I think, is going to be super effective against it. Right? I believe. I can't remember. Need to play more Pokemon. Need to practice. Oh my goodness. Finally, the, the level 4 Blobos makes an appearance. <laughs> Hello and goodbye, sir. Lovely to see you. Please uh, don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Boo boo. Okay, yeah, got it. Whatever you said. Good night, sweet Blobby. <laughs> sweet Prince. All of my princes. Did you know that you don't. That you need a 4chan gold account to evolve Blobos? I wonder where I can get one. I don't know. I think, uh, Moot's a faggot for implementing such things. Don't you? Wouldn't you agree? Alright, so, uh, my low-level pokes are kind of, uh, hurting a little bit. But that's because I'm trying to level them up. So, let's... What is this? What is this giant lake? Oh, it's a clover. I see, it's the 4chan logo. Ha <laughs> ha, I get it. Underground path, route 5 to 6. I guess I'd go down here. I could explore a little bit more too. There are trainers in the underground path here, so be prepared. Okay, then I should probably go prepare myself and also uh, explore the land a bit more. I bet you only trained your starter and expected to beat the game. Good luck with that. Bro. Why would you why would you think that of me? Why would you assume such a thing? Although when I was a, a little child, I basically trained my Blastoise in Viridian Forest until it was like level 50 or 60 <laughs> and pushed my way through most of the game. And uh, there's a little Pokemon that goes noop and runs away. Oh, it's so adorable. Look, it's like a Care Bear alien thing. Should I try and catch it? I should probably try and catch it. Why not? Oh, Drain Kiss. Bad for me, good for it. it. Will be good for me if I'm able to catch it. Then I can utilize the Drain Kiss as well. Hmm. <laughs> oh yes. And uh, it has Moody. So attack up, special attack down. I don't know what Drain Kiss is. Special attack or what? I I, I don't really know. Let's just throw a Pokeball at it. See how it go. I got plenty of Pokemon training up in the daycare now. That should be nice. And now I, I got a cheerly to uh, add to my team. Wonderful. A happy little lady Pokemon with a heart on his chest. Oh, it evolves from Semdrop? Wow, okay. But Cheerly is excited. It starts dancing. It will only stop when it's completely exhausted. Aww. What's a good uh, cheerleader name? Uh, how about like Valerie? I don't know people name their kids Valerie anymore. 
But uh, I knew a cheerleader named Valerie when I was uh, a youngster. Yeah, that'll do nicely. Alright, I want to follow that noop. N Noopmon. I want to catch that. Oh, it's another score rap. Score rap to fight my score rap. Alright, I'm going to run from that thing. I'm, I'm looking for my my noop noop. Oh, he gone. He's he's not here anywhere. I don't see him. There's a spanky. I already caught one of those. I would rather look forward to adding one of those to my team. But who to give up? I guess Gremlin. She's uh she's living life on the edge, you see. There's Tumblerita's gym. <laughs> piece of cake that it was. I didn't even travel that far. I probably don't need to heal, but uh, I'm determined to not lose again, and I also haven't sat down and ground my Pokemon out like I uh, should have, because a lot of the trainers I've been encountering are like level 20 and such, and I'm like level 22, so they give me a run for my money, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and uh, check out the underground route before I get my ass beat up too hard. Oh, look at that, Ribbazap! It's a wild Ribbazap! It's probably uh, electric and something, but I ain't gonna find out. I got a date with Destiny, son. Not not the bungee Destiny, because that shit's garbage. But, uh, you know, like the, the future Destiny kind of thing. Hey, you okay? You, you, are, are you alright? Can I help you something? Watch me whip, whip! Now watch me may may. <laughs> oh god. Please, stop this. I, I want to hear no more. Memer Christine. Yep, yep. Got a may may. Look at that, level 23. My goodness. I think we should be able to take this thing down relatively easy though. Wing attack is powerful. So powerful. And that thing is honing claws, which is not good. Gonna try and take it out as quick as possible. I was thinking about um, hitting rollout on this thing, but yeah, I don't. I don't think that's gonna work out in my favor. It goes for home claws again, which is nice. Maybe I should have used rollout, but regardless, quick attack. Gonna take that thing down just to save myself a wing attack. You know, that's that's how we do things around here. All right, Pecker wants to learn Morning Sun. What what the fuck? A healing move. You should meet KFC during the day. That, especially not in the morning. What the fuck? Where's your life gone wrong? Hmm, HP varies with the weather. I mean, I could get rid of Sand Attack. And then I could also have a healing move, which would be really useful and I wouldn't be running back to the Poké Center all the time. But I'll probably miss Sand Attack relatively shortly too. Ah, just so many decisions to make. I don't know what to do. Oh boy, I think that's electric type something. So uh, let's get Pecker out of here and we'll send in Decker. Pecker and Decker, best friends for life. They complement each other, you see? And Dubbus uses double hit, but it's not very effective on my rock type. I'm gonna go ahead and try magnitude. Oh boy, here comes the double teaming. That's not good. My least favorite move in the world. Magnitude 7, and I missed. Here we go. God damn it. Magnitude 7 again. Please, just destroy this thing. I would greatly appreciate it. He's got double team again, isn't he? Oh, Spark. That's okay, I can live with that. Oh, and the paralysis. Not very nice. Lock on. I, I don't think I've ever used lock on for anything. Except maybe uh, when I thought Zap Cannon was a good move. They said, oh, look at that, so much damage and it paralyzes, but only 50% uh, accuracy. I'll just pair it with Lock On. And then, uh, yeah, it's not really viable in competitive play because you can't have a setup turn like that. Um, if you lock onto something, they can just switch out and your, your whole shit is wrecked. I mean, you might still hit the Zap Cannon. I don't know, maybe it is. Maybe it's more viable than I uh, recall. I'm not gonna say that I was so into competitive play when I was just a young lad, you see. That's been a recent development. 
So goodbye, Dubbis. He had two twos in his eyes. But that's alright. Now it's, uh, now it's all stars. Flowery. Well, this looks like a fighting flower. Fighting grass thing. So, um, I think Pecker's gonna be the right choice for this. Need to get Decker out of there. Save his rocky ass. In grain. Oh, that's gonna recover some HP each turn. But that should be okay. Oh, leech seeds. Oh, no. Not this. Why this? Please just KO it. Nope. It is tanky as shit. Oh, boy. And I'm gonna get leech seeded. This thing's gonna heal off basically all the damage that it took. That's not good. Hmm, how about you, Douglas? What could you do against this thing? I guess magnitude? No, that wouldn't work. He could bite. But that's not a great option. Let's try Keck. I know Keck has bug bite. Maybe we can get through this thing. Oh, acid. Oh no, it's so scary! And it's still ingrained. Just healing off the damage. What a little asshole. Is Fake Out gonna do... Do decent damage? Not really. Especially after the ingrain. But it's a, it's a little bit. It's something. Let's try the bug bite now. See how it go. I was so hoping he'd miss the leech seed. This poke is a pain. A pain in my ass. Oh man. I don't like this at all. I mean, if I go into Douglas, then he's not going to be able to leech seed a grass type. But maybe... I don't know. I just don't know. Ah, uh, we'll try it. The ingrain is the worst thing ever. Oh, but he's got acid. Fuck. That's terrible. How did this happen? Everything is awful. Okay, just try to bite it. See how it goes. I don't know. I'm out of options here. And bite does basically nothing. It might be part fighting type 2. Hmm. But then wing attack should have, should have like totally fucked its day. Oh man. Maybe Gremlin with uh, liquid ooze. Yeah, I forgot all about that. Double kick, it totally is part fighting type. I don't understand why Pecker did so little damage to it. Hmm. Fascinating. Well. I think Gremlin is going to win the day. Perhaps she'll prove herself here. Here and now. Go ahead. Get the sludge going. Sludge bomb. It's not sludge bomb. It's just sludge. Which is uh, less power, I do think. And it's not very effective either. What the fuck? What's the deal with this thing? I don't understand. I'm sitting here looking at this fucking happy little flower. He's just, he's just ruined my shit. All of my shit is ruined because of you, Mr. Sunflower. So I'm going to glare it. Uh, I don't really know what else to do. I guess glare and getting Pecker in here to uh, fuck it up as best he can. But yeah, I'm, I'm losing ground against this thing. It's whittled half of my team down. And of course he uses Leech Seed immediately. God damn it. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do against this thing. I mean, I do have Morning Sun, so I can try and out-heal it, but I don't know if that's going to work as well because we're underground and such. Let's try the Wing Attack. It's doing the most damage out of anything else that I have. Oh, but that acid hurts so bad. Jesus criminy. This is not good. I, 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 I don't know what to do. I'm not going to be able to heal it with Morning Sun. Let's just go for the wing attack. It's not a Nuzlocke, so I don't have to worry about that. Just let myself get knocked out by acid. That's fine. I can bring in uh, Kim and try and get a Slash off on it. Maybe Slash will do good damage. It does have same type attack bonus and stuff like that. But yeah, this thing... Who would have Who would have thunk it, man? What the fuck? Alright, crit, crit, not quite, but leech seed is much better than double kick, I'll take that any day of the week, 
I think Kim might be the one to bring this shit around. So, uh, here's to hoping that Leech Seed and that Ingrain is just, uh, a dooming combination. I should have tried to take this thing down way quicker. As it is, got, got through most of my team. XP's all spread around. Jesus, this makes me a sad panda. Shut up, you fucking meme spout. I'm working on a new meme involving Rectream and the Pope. It's still a work in progress. There's lots of Pope memes, you know? It's that one where he's like, Are you ready to rock? And I'm like, Hell yeah, Pope! Hell yeah, Pope! Rock me! Rock me, Amadeus! Um, I got a Paralyze Heal. What I really need is some fucking potions and whatnot. But it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. So... I got my fresh water. Who's deserving of a fresh water? I guess I'll give it to Dougie. Teach me how to Dougie. And by 38 points, I guess it'll work. What are you, a hiker? Buenos dias! Is this the United States? Oh, you're tunneling to freedom, are you? <laughs> I see how this is. Immigrant Sanchez wants to battle. I think you mean illegal alien Sanchez. It's a subtle difference. Hmm, what do I think this thing is? Probably ground, because uh, it looks sandy or something like that. Let's try the razor leaf. We'll see what happens. Mud slap shouldn't be able to do too much. It will drop the accuracy though. That's fine. No, it's not. <laughs> I missed. Wonderful. And then he sings his his fucking mariachi music. And sleepy, sleepy, Douglas go. I can't switch out from the mud mud slaps because um, yeah, Packer's dead. Panchito tries to use rest. Siesta, I think, would be the the preferred phrase or something like that. He keeps trying to rest, so once he goes to sleep, I'll be able to do as I like with this thing. But yeah, I'm not sure... Jesus Christ, this sleep is lasting forever. I'm not sure of the types of this thing, so it's going to be really hard for me to decide what to do against it. We'll see how the Razor Leaf do. Oh yeah, that's super effective. That's super effective. There's a rock throw. It's not going to bother me too much. Get that razor leaf. Do it. Yes. Your mud slaps do nothing. Maha. Although, uh, I think I still carry mud slap because accuracy game is a good game to play if you're in a losing position. You're like, well, guess what? Now you can't hit me. Ha ha ha. Derpedo. It's a tater. You know who lacks taters? Keck. I hope uh, he'll be able to switch out here without taking a hit to the face, but you never know. Mud shot, I think I can resist. Yeah, bug resist ground. Unfortunately, speed has fallen. That doesn't matter for fake out, but uh, once I get to those bug bites and stuff, it's going to be uh, a little troubling to have it come out so slow. Oh, I'm still faster. Hooray. Derpato. He stands no chance. Oh, but he hits me again. Another speed drop. That's that's gonna be mean. And now he's faster, coming in with the headbutts. Jesus. Goodbye, Keck. Good night, sweet prince. Alright, Kim. Do a thing. I know you got that jolly nature. You're faster than most shit. And, uh, yeah. Well, everything's faster than Potato, basically. It just lays there on the ground and is delicious. That's its whole function. Papacti. Definitely another grass type. Mmm, shall I try Fury Cutter? Oh, that, that does real good. With the crit and everything? Oh, that's delicious. It does have rough skin. That shit doesn't matter. It's gonna howl. That also doesn't matter. You're fucking done, son. Get out of here, kid. I wonder how long this path is. Route 5 to 6. It doesn't seem that far away, but uh... We might be fighting a few trainers. Is this fortune? Yes it is. Mierda, I must have tunneled in the wrong direction. Yeah, into the internet. Into the internet! Esto usando el internet! 
Alright, switch my 21 guy to the front. Hey, one more battle and we're out of here. Fear the future. <laughs> I do. It's happening. Can I just tell you guys right now, it's happening? Charagon. Oh god. Level 25. This is not going to be good. Let's go ahead and try the mud slaps. Lower that accuracy ASAP. And hopefully it's not going to uh, do anything too dooming. Yeah, it misses the flame charge. Oh, but it's still speed boost. That's why. It got a speed boost. Missed the flame charge, but that shit didn't matter, I guess. I thought I was going to be able to move faster this time around as well. But that's not the case. So let's just uh, keep mud slapping. Mud slap, mud slap, 20% accuracy drop so far. And um, I guess I'll just try and finish it. Because I'm poisoned, so I don't want to sit in here for too long. Doing bullshit. Tried to smoke screen me? Not going to happen. You got mud slap first, son. And there's magnitude 8. Dealt with that thing relatively well. And it's its only Pokemon. Thank God. Hooray! Death is level 22! Welcome to the big leagues, friends! What humans can I even trust? Wh what is that a sentence? <laughs> Life was never easy in the tunnels. You are you a mole man? I don't understand. Oh god, aren't you the player character? I'm gonna lose now, aren't I? Maybe if I don't battle you, you can't beat me. Well, that's an option. See you later! Oh my. Oh, five to six. Uh, are you, are you, are you somebody? Hi, your Pokemon look tired. Let me inject some health into them for just 500 Poke. Okay. Hmm, thanks. Never get scared by a dirty needle. They work wonders. <laughs> well, if one of my Pokemon had AIDS, they all have it now. That's how it goes sometimes. That's life in the tunnels for you. Well, I'm glad there was a, a Pokemon over here. I'm glad I made it. Oh, look at the UFO, bro. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm going to take so many great pictures of my Alamo and post them on the internet. Surely mom will be proud then, but first to catch one. Huh? You want in? This UFO belongs to me. We could share if you want. I mean, it's a crash-landed UFO. What are you going to do with it? It, it don't make much sense to just hoard it for yourself. There's gonna be a lot of people besides me showing up here. Anyways, Squirrap is uh, his chosen Pokemon. I assume he doesn't have an Alamo. Alamo? <laughs> it's that alien thing. We've seen one before. We've seen one in this playthrough. Which is impressive, because there are a shit ton of Pokemon um, that are yet to be uncovered. So, they're unveiling them at a relatively nice clip. It gives me enough time to uh, absorb the Pokemon a little bit and learn the types and stuff before I get like a hundred other ones thrown at me. Keck levels up to 22. Good job, little buddy. And the next one out is Fryden. I don't want to fight that thing with uh, my bug Pokemon. So we're going to go ahead and switch into Decker. Oh yes. He's got so many uses, let me tell you. Wing attack? Mmm, good luck with that shit. It crits me, but only for 12 damage. <laughs> and now rock throw. Rock throw for you! Not quite a KO, but that's alright. Ooh, and he's got the morning sun. Morning sun is on his side. Well, too bad it's not going to save you from another rock throw. He hits the rollout, but I don't think it's going to matter as long as I get my rock throw on him. And there's the KO. Excellent. Wonderfully done. Ho ho ho. Done. I would have won if I had an Alamo. 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 Ah, mom. Oh. I'm sorry, little boy. But you challenged the champ. That's what fucking happens. All right, should I go up here and see where he ran off to? Is that what I'm, what I'm supposed to do? Are you eye raping me, you disgusting shit lord? <laughs> no, definitely not. Oh god, definitely not. <laughs> Feminist Lilith. 
sent out a Tulur. Oh my. That's because she's bait, right? Everything she says is just bait. It's supposed to upset you or something like that. I raping me. Please. Don't flatter yourself. I mean, yeah, it, it's basically, if you don't agree with my politics or you're not attractive to me, then you're not allowed to look at me. But if you're attractive to me, then totally, totally, I rape me all day long. It's quite a, quite some duplicity going on in that head, that empty, empty head of hers. But that's why she's not good at Pokemon battles. Everybody knows that. Use a false swipe. You can't KO nobody with false swipe. What are you, dumb? Well, it's always gonna leave the opponent with one HP. That's why you use that for like your super catcher Pokemon. Like, uh, Smeargle. Smeargle with mean look, false swipe, uh, and some other shit. Fishnism. Dude, these, these things, uh, keep blocking me and not letting me leave. I guess that is relevant to SJWs, isn't it? <laughs> I'm like, hey, um, I'm gonna go now. I don't, I don't really feel like arguing with you because neither of us are going to change their position. And they're like, oh yeah, well, I'm gonna follow you home. It's like, okay, cool. I don't have a job that you can really get me fired from, so uh, <laughs> enjoy that. Enjoy that waste of your life. Pray tour. What is this thing? It no scary face. That feminist sure has a scary face. Maha! But she didn't have an SJ SJ whale on her team, so uh not completely the best team loadout for her, I don't think. But it is it's good. I'll, I'll throw him some points. I'm gonna get Kek all leveled up. I want Kek to evolve. Does he evolve? That's that's the hard part about this game, is I don't really know what what does what. Oh boy. I don't think I want to risk it. I do have the speed drop on me, so he's gonna, going to uh, move faster than me just about every time. Let's do Kim. Kim can get that quick attack. Hell yeah. And then it'll be over. Over Clover. Why did I sing? <laughs> I don't know what I thought was the, in that slot. I guess I thought quick attack was there. But that's fine. It's asleep now. I just, I just be a gentleman. I put it to bed before I cut its throat. See? You don't want people to know it's coming. Then the meat tenses up and gets uh, less tender. Mmm. Tender meat. Kick wants to learn iron defense. Oh. I guess I could forget Astonish. Who really gives a shit about Astonish? I mean, Fake Out's not that great of a move either. It's kind of good for little cheap shots and stuff like that. But only if you have Technician. And same type attack bonus. Ambipomp's the only one I can think of that really uses that. RAPE! Whee! <laughs> Stop eye raping me! Help! Uh, I'm not. Goodbye. I'll see you later. That's all you really wanted, isn't it? To be left alone with your cats. Forever. There's a sign. Route 6, Route 7. Route 12. Okay. Well, well, we'll figure out which way we're going to go in the next episode, friends. We're at a bit of a crossroad. The Cheshire Cat has pointed me in the wrong direction. That's, that's the wrong lore. I'm sorry. Alice in Wonderland and Pokemon are not related. Anyways, <laughs> thank you so much for watching, friends. I hope that you like, comment, and or subscribe. If you did enjoy the episode, it always does help, and uh, makes me feel really good, all warm and fuzzy inside. I've also got uh, Patreon links, Discord links, Twitter links, all in the description for you to browse at your leisure, and uh, of course that would be even more warm fuzzies in my tummy tum, so I hope that'll encourage you to do so. Once again, this has been Pokemon Clover, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, and I will see you in the next one, friends. Until then. Bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye. See you, my friends.